In the beginning, there was the earth, a young world still forming, covered with oceans and fire. And out of this chaos came the first spark of life. This is the story of us, the story of humanity. It is a story that stretches across billions of years through struggle, survival and transformation until it reached you sitting here today. Before we existed, the universe was already ancient. The Earth itself was born around 4.5 billion years ago, formed from cosmic dust and gas left behind by exploding stars. The earliest signs of life appeared in Earth's oceans about 3.5 to 3.8 billion years ago. Single-celled organisms, simple and small, yet powerful enough to change the course of history. For billions of years, these organisms evolved. Through natural selection, as Charles Darwin explained in On the Origin of Species, 1859, life branched out into incredible diversity. Plants filled the seas, animals crawled onto land, dinosaurs ruled the earth, and eventually, in a corner of Africa, our own story began. The Rise of the Primates Around 65 million years ago, after the great extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs, small mammals thrived. Among them were early primates, creatures with grasping hands, forward-facing eyes, and intelligence that helped them survive. Over millions of years, primates diversified. Some became monkeys, others evolved into apes. And around seven million years ago in Africa, a group of apes split from their cousins. That branch would lead to us. First steps toward humanity. One of the earliest known ancestors was Sahelanthropus chadensis, who lived around seven million years ago in what is now Chad. Evidence suggests they may have walked upright, a key difference that separated humans from other apes. Later came the Australopithecines, about four million years ago. The most famous fossil is Lucy, discovered in Ethiopia in 1974. Lucy was only about one metre tall, but she walked on two legs and still climbed trees. She represents a critical transition, not fully ape, not fully human, but the beginning of something new. The toolmakers, Homo habilis. Around 2.4 million years ago, Homo habilis appeared. The name means handyman. For the first time, humans created tools, sharp stones to cut meat, hammers to break bones. These tools gave them a survival advantage, allowing them to eat more protein and adapt to harsher environments. The Travelers, Homo erectus. Then came Homo erectus about 1.9 million years ago. They were taller, stronger and smarter than their ancestors. Most importantly, they learned to control fire. Fire gave them warmth, protection and the ability to cook food. Cooking made food easier to digest, fueling the growth of the human brain. With larger brains, they could plan, adapt, and innovate. Homo erectus became explorers. They left Africa and spread into Asia and Europe. They survived nearly two million years, making them one of the most successful human species in history. The Neanderthals, our Ice Age cousins. In Europe and Western Asia, another branch of humans thrived, the Neanderthals. They lived around 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. Stocky and powerful, they were built for cold climates. Neanderthals were skilled hunters and tool makers. They made clothing from animal hides, created art and buried their dead. Far from being brutish cavemen, they were intelligent, social and caring. Genetic studies, Green et al. and Science 2010, reveal that Neanderthals interbred with modern humans. Today, people of non-African descent carry 1.4% of Neanderthal DNA. Their story lives on in us. The birth of modern humans 
Finally, around 300,000 years ago in Africa, Homo sapiens, our species, appeared. Unlike earlier humans, we had imagination. We made symbolic art, carved figurines and painted caves. Around 70,000 years ago, we underwent what historians call the Cognitive Revolution, Harari sapiens. Humans developed complex speech and storytelling. We could share knowledge, pass down traditions and imagine futures. This ability to cooperate in large groups gave us an extraordinary advantage. United by myths, culture and shared beliefs, humans began to dominate the Earth. The Great Migration Around 60,000 years ago, humans left Africa. We journeyed into the Middle East, Asia, Europe and eventually into Australia and the Americas. Everywhere we went, we adapted. In deserts, mountains and frozen tundra, humans found ways to survive. On this journey, we met other human species like Neanderthals and Denisovans. Sometimes we fought, sometimes we interbred. But by 40,000 years ago, Homo sapiens were the only human species left. From the first steps on the African savanna to the spread across the globe, humanity had risen. But this was only the beginning. In the next chapter, we will see how humans transformed from small bands of hunter-gatherers into builders of civilizations and creators of the modern world. Part 2. From Hunters to Civilizations after tens of thousands of years as nomads living in small tribes, something extraordinary happened around 10,000 years ago. The Agricultural Revolution. In the Fertile Crescent, today's Iraq, Syria and Turkey, humans discovered farming. For the first time, they planted seeds and domesticated animals. This moment, called the Agricultural Revolution, transformed humanity. Farming meant stability. People could build permanent homes, store food, and grow villages into towns. Population expanded. With more people came new challenges and new ideas. The birth of civilization. The first true civilizations rose in Mesopotamia, Egypt, India, and China. Writing systems developed, cuneiform in Mesopotamia, hieroglyphs in Egypt, Writing allowed humans to record history, trade and laws. Religion evolved, offering explanations for life and purpose. Governments formed to organise larger societies. Trade routes stretched across continents. Humanity's story shifted from survival to innovation. The role of faith and science. Every culture developed creation stories. The Bible tells of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. The Sumerians wrote of gods molding humans from clay. Science, however, tells a story written in fossils, DNA and ancient bones. The two perspectives, faith and science, are not enemies, but different ways of understanding our origins. Both ask the same timeless question. Who are we and where do we come from? The Modern Human Journey over time, civilizations expanded into empires. From the pyramids of Egypt to the Great Wall of China, humans reshaped the earth. We learned to harness fire, bronze, iron, and eventually machines. By the last few centuries, the scientific revolution transformed our world. We discovered evolution, mapped our DNA, and peered into the stars. Each discovery revealed not only the vastness of the universe, but also the miracle of human existence. Humanity today. Now there are more than 8 billion people on Earth. We have walked on the moon, cured diseases, and connected the planet through technology. Yet our survival still depends on the same principles as our ancestors. Cooperation, adaptation, and respect for the world around us. From the first spark of life to the rise of civilizations, the story of humanity is a story of resilience, imagination, and hope. 
We are the children of survivors, each of us carrying the legacy of those who came before. And our story is not over. It continues today and will be written by the generations yet to come.